Alright guys, it's Mike's. Welcome to another video. It's Call of Duty today, once again. And it's a free-for-all match on Hacienda. Nuked out gameplay, 30-0, using the Scar, or the Rampart 17 as they call it in this game. I was going for my camo challenges, I'd taken off my attachments, went straight for the perks, and I think just one piece of equipment. Oh, and a secondary. So, this is gameplay from Theatre Mode, so mind you, not everything is going to be fully accurate. As you can see, some of the aiming looks a little bit off. But I just went off on this beginning. And um, once I've reached about 11 or so kills, I think I started to... Re oh, okay. Let me just keep my sentry gun in my pocket. Let's see if I can go for it. Now, I normally play this map on the other side of, and, and then up in that building in the top room. Um, but I guess this time I spawned on this side and I stuck with this side. And I realised, oh, actually, this water could be a pretty good area. Seeing as I had never come here before. Maybe other people haven't come here. Haven't come here before. So I thought to make use of it. The water gives you a stock effect, you know, the stock from previous games moving faster while aiming, which is something that um, you can't do in this game. I don't think there's a stock for assault rifles, not one that increases movement speed while aiming in. Um, but the water gives that effect, so that's pretty cool. So you can see I'm just sort of sick into this side of the map, playing it safe. I don't know how many kills, I've got eight kills, nine kills. Starting to piss all these people off here because I don't think anyone else in their game has uh, done this before. See, playing it safe, lining up the shop behind behind the wall. Yeah, very good game. Um, just going to talk intermittently throughout the gameplay. Don't have much to say, but if I see something, I'll comment on it. Yes, that is right. I'm camping. And what? You can hear people when they're going to war that all come out of it. It's quite loud. Quite evident. And then he came out. Oops. Went dark. So I thought I'd switch up my location a little bit just to lessen the heat on the area because sometimes you get them dedicated hunters and they come down and they keep coming and coming and coming until they find a way to get you. And then they get you and you die on 28, 29 kills and it feels bad, man. So, return back to base. Just, you know, I'm not going to stay over there because that's not such a great spot. I'm running dead silence and acoustic sensor. Obviously, it's free for all. Kind of have to. Um, and if you don't have dead silence, use Skulker and just crouch around the map. It's a very effective strategy as well. Okay, he was forced to come in by somebody else and I cleaned up shop. Very nice. See, this water, he should know now that I'm in the water. I don't think Dead Silence protects you from that. He should know. So I'm, I'm, I'm expecting him to know, but uh, um, they didn't. They didn't figure it out. You know, kind of smart players, well, not the sort of players that you get a nuked out gameplay against. But the players in this lobby, yeah. Yeah, you do. So I'm cutting off that spawn to my right, but I think there's one or two spawns there. And then I'm hope hoping for Pete players on this left side to push in, it, which it, actually the anti-clockwise route from the left side of the map there is not a route that I often take, but these guys seem to be taking it. And they still haven't figured out that I'm still here. <laughs> oh my god. So three bullets left. Had to make a couple risky moves for scav packs during this game. There was one of them. My uh, 150 plus ping. Still winning gunfights. Come on, push me, push me. Yeah, so sprint into me, you dumbass. <laughs> oh, damn, this was good. This was fun. Perfect time for a vision pulse. Oh, look at that. Look at that. See? Someone's trying to get sneaky on me. Vision pulse saving me. Let's go. Very nice. I'm not actually a huge fan of the vision pulse because at the end of the pulse, uh, everyone blends into the background and you can't really see a guy, even if he's like right in front, in the middle. It's really difficult to see them. So I've got myself another sensor dart. I'm going to chuck that on the left, I think. Or I'll chuck it behind me. So, I'm at 20 kills. I really do slow my game down. Oh, I've got UAV to call in. That's right. Sensor dot goes there. Does he see me? Easy kill. 
The scar doesn't have very much recoil at all. I would expect it to have similar levels of recoil like in uh, Black Ops 2, which is uh, one of my favourite guns. It was my favourite gun in Black Ops 2. It took a while before um, before everyone caught on to the fact that scar is a top tier weapon, because I guess people had trouble with the recoil. I didn't though. Oh, look at that play. Looking for me and I'm in the water. <laughs> oh, this water is this water's pretty nice, man. 24 kills. And I think roughly at this point in the match, people started going elsewhere. So the traffic really does slow down. See, they're not coming towards me. He's not getting into any gunfights because people aren't coming from that direction that I'm looking right now. So, you know, I'm camping here. There's a couple other people on the map camping with their Guardian or Barricade, they call it now. Oh, trying to jump shot, but I mean, he had no idea where I was. So why would you jump shot around the corner that you're blind? Not very smart. So there's my first Brutal. I need ammo. Hey, I've got ammo. Lovely. But I picked up that secondary just in case, you know. I may not want to leave my base. Just, uh being wary of lines of sight, so I kind of make a bit of a, you know, peaking probably where I shouldn't be, but I, I also can't stay in, in one exact spot the entire game, I need to, you know, switch it up a little bit at least. No one's coming for me anymore, they they tried, and they failed, and I almost caught in my sentry gun by accident. These guys are all busy fighting all the other campers over there, and they've forgotten about me. I started getting a bit nervous at this point too. I'm like, damn, I think I can actually do this. First attempt. I mean, it wasn't really an attempt as such as I went to the game like, oh, I'm getting a new out. I just played and got on a streak and then decided to play for it. It's a bit different. I think, you know, a lot of these big high kill streaks, they all come when when you're not playing for it. Because you play for it, you play different. You know, that whole beginning part where I was playing Reckless and shit, you know, if you go in with the intent to survive, you don't play like that. You don't get those kills. So really, just if you're going to go for a nuked out, just play the game naturally. Play the game naturally, and maybe every now and then give yourself a couple of games where, where you know, I'm going to go in and I'm going to get a nuked out. But don't sweat again and again and again, game after game. You're just going to stress yourself out and the game won't be fun. You know, you're playing a video game. It's meant to be fun. But I did have fun here, although this is a very boring part. As you can see, it's been like a minute and a half and no kills yet. So the kills start rolling in again. There's another one. I want to stick to my little corner here. Really, really good spot. Ooh, oh, I really wanted to shoot him, but don't shoot at what you can't confirm. There's a dog, so I see the dog. I'm like, hmm, I think I should be fine on this part of the map. I also believe I had cold blooded on, so I would have had enough time to react anyway. Sets it up. Oh yes. That's connection for you. That's a connection gunfight. Almost lost it. Man, I would have been pissed. 27 kills. Now I'm out of ammo. He kills the dog. So I know I'm pretty safe. I know I'm going to have to use this cordite to finish it off. Can I get the kill? Using a gun I'm not familiar with. Okay, his aim is awful. He didn't strafe. Another player close by. Expect him to push. Nope. He's getting flower. He's getting smart. It's going on the flank. And so, here we are. With the final kill. Smashing it. Nuclear clip. Oh no, nuclear medal. Here we go. Fantastic. Backfire. Killed the guy with his own gun. <laughs> Well, that's going to be the end of the video. Cheers, guys. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Like the video, because pretty decent gameplay. Definitely not high octane, adrenaline fucking fueled, kill every second. It was like that at the beginning, but when you're going for your first new town, you just got to play it slow. Slow it down, camp a bit. Nothing wrong with that. If I'm doing this in six months' time, then if you want to send me a hate message, by all means. Also, subscribe if you're new, and there's going to be much more Call of Duty stuff coming soon, and Division. So if you like those two games, don't worry, I'm not stopping one or the other. We're going to be doing both on the channel. Alright, in a bit.